Today we're going to be brewing a reusable capsule, the way cap for Dodger Gusto. They're really great, very versatile pods that produce a very nice brew. You've got nice premium quality stainless steel base, um, a couple of different filter sizes, these steel filters that go on the inside of your pod. One has like a collection of holes in the center of the filter, whereas the other one, it's more of a mesh, lots and lots of different dots on the surface. The filters are there so that you can use the one that works best with the specific coffee that you choose. So if you find that you're wanting to adjust your extraction in terms of how fast or slow it's pouring out, you can do this by swapping out your filters. We're going to try firstly with the one with less holes and you can um, have a look at how that extracts. The best grind size for the Wake Up Dodger Gusto capsules is a fine grind, an espresso grind. And you're going to want to source a nice dark Italian roast that'll just give you the best results. And obviously fresh is best. The quality of your brew is only going to be as good as the coffee you pop in that pod. Fill, fill, fill. Within the wake up pack, there is a tamper that you can use to tamp as you go. So I usually do a couple of scoops, give it a bit of a tamp. It's very important not to overfill your wake up Dolce Gusto's. Um, there's quite a large lip on this one. So you need to make sure that you leave space so that the lid can be inserted and it will sit flush with the top of the capsule. So just give a nice firm tamp. That's good. I'll give you a looky. So leaving a nice gap there. Pop your lid on so that it sits nice and flush. Very good. And you're wanting to be paying attention to this little dot here. So that dot needs to be lined up with the center of this holder. So pop it in, line it up, just approximately center, dot, pop it in, lock into place. And now with this uh, particular Dolce Gusto machine that we're using, we have to gauge our extraction size just based on our own visuals. Turn it on and just keep an eye of how the extraction's looking. When it starts to become pale, that's blonding and that is bitter coffee. So we want to make sure we shut off the extraction before it starts going into that sort of light, creamy coloured zone. I want this to be a nice robust brew. Flick it on. And we're just going to keep an eye. So this is nice dark coffee that's coming out here. And it's actually okay. Like if you find that it's dripping, it means that there's a nice pressure build up within that capsule. So you're going to get a nice strong brew. So this is um, a good consistency. We're just keeping an eye. And when you think, oh, it's getting a little bit light, don't be afraid to shut it off. think so. So that's nice. You can see that the coffee has a nice sort of gradient happening here, a beautiful rich crema and yeah a really nice result. So this is our mesh like filter with lots more holes than our other one couple of scoops, tamp, there again that nice little gap there for the lid, press it on firmly, and again we're going to center it, And we're going to turn it on and keep an eye not to over extract. So 
you can see this flows a little bit quicker and that's just because there's a lot more holes within that filter. So this brew would be a little weaker than this one, um, but still a nice speedy automatic espresso. I'll probably shut him off just there. So again, you've got that nice gradient, slightly less crema, but still a really nice brew. So it's, it's literally just down to experimentation, having a play and seeing what works best for you.